past year was a time of technological breakthroughs in different spheres for our development team. We have released our very own computer vision library, Arcona Core. Experiments with the most advanced achievements in applied mathematics, SLAM systems and artificial neural networks allowed us to create algorithms that ideally match the requirements of our platform for remote positioning of AR objects. Our GIS team has created a unique map of Arcona's digital lands. Each plot for sale is tied to its geographic coordinates and takes into account the uniqueness of the real landscape. Last fall, Arcona Marketplace, the main marketplace for digital lands, was launched. In the coming months, the user functionality of Arcona Marketplace will be significantly extended. So there will be the opportunity to trade various digital assets among users such as land, content and Arcona tokens, of course. Soon we will present the most exciting development of the year, AR Viewer, and very happy. After opening beta testing, an application for Android will be developed and then we will work on adapting software to various augmented reality headsets. And speaking of which, there is quite interesting news out there. The match anticipated HoloLens 2 is almost here. Microsoft holding a HoloLens 2 press event next month. And according to some resources, this new release is very likely to happen. And tech lovers, together with augmented reality enthusiasts as we are, will see a new AR variable device. Microsoft HoloLens is the first self-contained holographic computer enabling you to engage with your digital content and interact with holograms in the world around you. This headset was introduced to the public in 2015. HoloLens is a standalone AR headset that has had a remarkably long lifespan as a first-gen product in a brand new device category. Well, just think of it. The device was released in 2015 and it is still proud to be the best on the market. For example, people get crazy every time when a new iPhone comes to life and the whole New York City is queuing to buy a brand new cell phone. We are dying to know what this upcoming event will bring and looking forward to testing and of course seeing and testing this in real life. A lot of industries can benefit from augmented reality, even the ones that you've never thought can benefit from it. Just check it out. Taxi service Lyft wants to add augmented reality features into its service. And we bet that nearly every one of you who had to take taxis and were tracking your taxi online had the same problem. How to understand that this black Toyota or Honda is waiting for you and you were standing in the street trying to figure out if this cab was waiting for you or for the person right next to you then you needed to play a game where you had to compare cars numbers and only after that you could be driving to the point of your destination Lyft says however that their AR concept will change the way we look for our taxis in the street and how taxi drivers could easily understand where their customer is well, among this big crowd. We'll see what the future will bring us and thank you for watching us and stay tuned for our AR news.